Still plenty of time to head to the polls for the special election in the 18th Congressional District. Both candidates cast their ballots this morning. And tonight, they're going to be gathering at their campaign election night headquarters awaiting the results. This election is just for a portion of Southwestern PA. Political editor John Delano is here to break it all down for us. John. Well, Christine and Ken, compared to most special elections, this one in the 18th Congressional District has attracted more attention, more money, more famous surrogates, and today, perhaps more voters than usual. But this is an election in just one congressional district, not the whole region. So no surprise, I got calls from people who wanted to vote, showed up at their polls, only to discover they didn't live in the 18th congressional district. The 18th district stretches from the southwest corner of the state in Greene County through Washington County, up into the western and southern part of Allegheny County, into the western half of Westmoreland County. Democrats outnumber Republicans by about 24,000 voters, with independents making up the difference with 62,000 votes. The Allegheny County portion of the district is the largest with 187,000 voters. And polls say it's Democrat Connor Lamb's strongest region because it is suburban and more liberal. If turnout is big here and he wins by 20 points or more in this county, it could be over. Now, with 163,000 voters, Westmoreland County is home to conservative Democrats and Republicans, the Trump voters. If Republican Rick Saccone wins big here and holds the vote down in Allegheny, he could be a winner. With 112,000 voters, Washington County is a key battleground for both candidates. Although majority Democrat, it too voted for Trump, and both Saccone and Lamb think they can win this county. Greene County is in the southwest corner of the state and has about 12,000 voters, not a lot compared to the other three counties. But if this is a very tight race, watch for Greene County, where both candidates have campaigned hard to make the difference. At this stage, it's all a big guess who will win. While some polls showed Lamb ahead, every poll is based on guessing at who is actually voting today. And we won't know that for sure until later tonight. Ken? Yeah,